in my bag is really loaded. That's why I wanted to do a what's in my bag right now. Because I have a chance, I'm heating up, I'm reheating some pizza that we ordered from Bartoli's or I don't know, someplace around here. It's really good. It's of course the classic Chicago style pizza pie. And it's amazing. And I think we can only, I can only eat one slice. Almost everybody, children or otherwise can eat one slice. Oh, I'm trying to sit here right. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna do a what's in my bag video. It's not easy to sit here, but I think the lighting is okay here. Oh no, I hope it is. But I thought I would do a what's in my bag because I have to get ready to, is there an echo in this little chamber? It seems like. I have to get ready to pack up to leave tomorrow. And I think I need to take some things out. Okay, the first thing in here is my cashmere, Pashima or Pashima, whatever it's called, shawl. Basically, it's a shawl, a scarf. That's in there. And then I did go thrifting. I did get some jewelry from the counters and I got some jewelry and some bags. And then I was so, so surprised and so happy that my son actually had two bags for me here. And he wrapped them up in, in Christmas wrap. And because I remember I told you I had actually said, I only want Christmas, for Christmas I only want, if you guys are interested, I want jewelry bags and jewelry jars. So he's the only one that took me up on it and he knows I love them from here from Chicago. So he brought me that. So again, we went thrifty today and only my granddaughter and I went. He dropped us off for two hours and a little bit over two hours. So that's what we did. And then I have a bag full of jewelry too as well. These are all from the counter. I have things that are still in the box. And oh my gosh, just wonderful, wonderful things. I will show you this vintage box. It's kind of oriental, uh, Asian, and it says real jade in inside of it. And it's got a beautiful- It stopped recording, but it stopped recording on me. So we'll start again with some more things that I have. Uh, I have my checks. I have some Rolades in a little bag some Kleenex. Uh, I have my favorite gloves. I showed you those. They're wool line. They're fabulous. Or they're wool and leather and they're just really, really warm. That's that one there. Then I had a spare black glove. I don't know why I had a spare black glove, but I did in my pocket of my coat. I have a tangerine. Uh, I, had my, I had my loop. I have my tripod because I'm planning on doing a live video Sunday. I hope it works out. I had some cash, probably about $10 in cash and some change. I did have my sterling chain. Uh, rather, I do have my sterling rosary that I got from Elizabeth at one of her showcases. It's so weighty and beautiful. I just love the feel of it and uh, love having it. And then, of course, my Laurel Birch cosmetic bag. I showed you the Dooney and Burke before. There's some lip gloss in here, my keys, some, uh, actually Burt B's lip balm is in there. I do have a fork, I don't know why. I have this beautiful poetry book, it's leather lined. It actually sells for $60, $60 or $70 on Amazon, and I just love reading Spanish poetry, Spanish literature. As you know, with any language, if you don't keep using it, if you don't hone your skills, you lose them. And um, I love especially reading poetry and literature because the true nuances of the language is always in that. And that's what you really need to kind of hone in on when you do learn a, a foreign language or a new language because that's where the, the true essence of the language is in all of the, you know, the nuances of the, of the, the sayings. Oh, a $10 bill. Yeah, I gotta put all that money together. I do have my little boarding passes here. And I think that is it. I think I showed you everything else. I have my napkins, I showed you that. I showed you the bag of jewelry. And I think that's it, guys. I'm gonna go check on my pizza again so we can all sit down to eat and enjoy that wonderful Chicago style pizza. Oh, I did wanna show you this beautiful bag. This is the Longchamp that was thrifted for about $5. And I decided to try it out. Remember I told you I wanted to try it out. I love it. It does have a really beautiful silhouette. Reminds me a little bit of the Hermes Birkin bag, but not quite. It doesn't have the belt, but it has a really nice buckle. I love the texture of the suede. It almost looks like pony hair or something, yet it even has kind of a gloss. 
And then it has a big front pocket here that buckles and I love the way it's lined as well. It has kind of a plastic lining. And when we showed this bag, I think it was Holly Grant who told me that there was, um, that the brand was on the inside. And it is, but it's also here. You can see the little horse and rider kind of embossed right there. It's very, very faded, very understated rather. So I really love it. And it, it all clips together for a tighter silhouette as well on the sides, but this is perfect, perfect for traveling. I'm very, very glad that I took this instead of a small messenger bag because I was able to put all of this in here. So yeah, really excited about that. I'm gonna clean this bag up in a little while. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please come back and see me. Hopefully I can do a live with no problems tomorrow for the Sunday uh, reseller. I'm gonna start calling it A-listers. Sunday A-listers is my title that I've come up with and I hope that uh, it, it's something that you enjoy. Please come see me at 3 p.m. Central every Sunday and we will talk about not only buying all of this jewelry, but how to maximize its uh, profit potential. All right, thanks so much, bye-bye.